was carried out by what was the concession of September 13, 1880. It belonged to the old National Railway Company of Mexico. It was boiled on land that belonged to the General Rincón, which was purchased by the former Compañía de los Ferrocarriles Nacionales de México. It was erected in 1960 to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the beginning of the independence movement. It's one of the highest places with 25 meters in length. It shows the figures of Hidalgo, Morelos, Allende and Aldama. In this place, the great composer was born. He has many of his achievements, contracts, records, copies of his documents and much more. It's a very big and beautiful house. It was here that Miguel Hidalgo visited and freed some prisoners, invited them to join the independence chaos. The place housed dungeon doors, the most beautiful paintings of the place I went, flags of the history of Mexico, and even the lyrics of the sketches of the national anthem.
Here you can enjoy a pleasing moment, strolling through the garden or enjoying a typical ice cream. This was the most beautiful place I went. The building housed more than 800 objects that were part of the celebrities of the centenary of the independence. It also protects the replica of the bell that the priest Hidalgo rang. The Huehuete arrived in the city of Dolores in 1921. It's one of the most visited places. This is where the priest Hidalgo gave el grito de independencia. It was converted into a museum in 1946. Into the rooms, the atmosphere and furniture of the time were recreated as a setting to display some of the hero's personal objects and documents from the War of Independence. In the museum, three women are kept, a banner of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and more belongings of Miguel Hidalgo y Costilla. Here lie the remains of the best known author of Dolores Hidalgo. It was erected on November 23, 1998, to commemorate the 25th anniversary of his death. It's the most colorful heart. <laughs> 